Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless everyone joining in the name of Jesus. Wow. The Bible says it's a new day the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. This is actually what they use against your father. I pay it again. This is actually what they use against your father. If you see my face, God bless you. This is a YouTube channel will bring us God's words every day. This YouTube channel is updated every day with the word of God. May the Lord bless each and every one. For in Jesus' mighty name. This particular prophetic title is talking about, this is actually what they use against your father. They use this divide to stop your father. They use this against your father. Praise Master Jesus. If you are new, please start by tapping on the like button as you're liking, you're sharing. The God that reward in secret as you're spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ out there to a greater number of people. May that God do it too for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm led by the Spirit of God to record this particular prophetic word. It's a, it's a prophetic word. Hallelujah. For all watching and connecting once more, may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I saw some documents. I saw some agreement. I saw something that people came together. They agree on it. Hallelujah. And that is a pattern that stopped your father. Hallelujah. That is a particular pattern that killed your father. Praise Master Jesus. And right now, the particular pattern is fighting you. But I'm seeing the hand of God upon your life. Hallelujah. But yet, you have not had that encounter. Child of God, the hand of God might be upon your life. Unless you have an encounter, you will never know and it will not make manifest. The Bible says, Gideon Father has authors that speak upon the life of the family member. But when the Lord, when Gideon had an encounter with the Lord, the Lord told Gideon, you are going to tear down the altars of your father's house. Wait, Gideon, these are the steps you are going to follow. Raise an altar. Offer a sacrifice. Child of God, listen to me. Wheresoever you are joining or connecting, maybe you are watching me, you have never asked yourself, what stopped my uncle? What stopped my mother? What stopped my father? You have been asking yourself questions every day and night. You don't know exactly what stopped your family member. Only great fools. Praise Master Jesus will sleep without asking question. The Bible says why men were asleep. Their enemy came and sought us. So every family has an enemy. An individual has an enemy. Child of God, if you do not begin to find out what stopped your father, that means you are not ready. Hallelujah. And the battle that is about to stop you or end your life, if you do not take the battle to the end, it will still kill you and kill your children. So at the place of prayer, I saw people together. They made a decree on some altars. And this is the altars that has been fighting your family. What are altars? Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says life and death lies in the power of the tongue. There are people that have raised altar with their tongue not knowing. There are people that came together, they agree. They said this is actually what we are going to be doing every month. But along the line, they never fulfill, the, uh, fulfill uh, uh, their plans. And their life has been in one mess of the other. That is the reason why I always tell people, as a young gay or as a young woman, be very careful to give a man a fake promises when you're happy. As a young woman, be very careful to give a man promises that you will not fulfill. Praise Master Jesus, not because you're happy today, then you open your mouth, you're still, then you start telling the woman, I love you, I will marry you, then the man will start spending the money on you. Those actions are altars. The state of your heart will speak tomorrow when you turn against that particular man. Child of God, a lion cannot give birth to a good. A lot of us has raised altars that are speaking against us. Praise Master Jesus. There are women and fathers under the sound of my voice. They intentionally sold people's children into prostitution and some certain things. Now they got married, they gave birth to a certain child that they don't understand. How come? You're crying and blaming God? No, altars speak. Child of God, you must stand the gap. If you're watching me, you must stand the gap to destroy the altar that was raised by your father. The Bible says, 
the problem of the Israelites were not Egypt, it was Pharaoh. Praise Master Jesus. They left Egypt, but Pharaoh was after them. If you did, do not deal with the altars and things that has been stopping your family, there are families that when you look at the family, you know the state of the family. You will know how the enemy has positioned the family. There are family no one has ever gotten married. Your father got married and divorced. Child of God, you cannot just read John chapter 3 verse 16 and you wake up suddenly, you think that you must break out from that pattern. This is something you must take in prayer consistency, constantly. You cannot just wake up, oh my God, from nowhere in a family whereby nobody has ever crossed a particular level in life and you and you just wake up with, with your hands on your chest that I will cross. Child of God, life, life is principle. There are principle and there are processes that you must pass through in life. If you do not pay the price, there are areas you cannot cross. My prayer for somebody is that any altar that was raised to stop your parents, you must stand the gap together with me so that that altar will be destroyed. Praise Master Jesus. What actually happened before I'm trying to record this particular prophetic word? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I saw people together that make a decree on some altars. And at the day end, praise Master Jesus, this altar has been speaking for quite a long time, but yet nothing to do. But when God begins to reveal, it is to redeem. Have you ever prayed against family altar? Yes. Family altars are real. Yes. Abraham has the, uh, his own altar. Yes. Gideon has altar. Yes. The, the, the Philistine has their own altar. But listen, listen to me. The moment you encounter God, the altar has no power over your life. I want to pray together with somebody watching and connecting under the sound of my voice. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus, I declare and I decree in the life of each and everyone watching and connecting, any author that has been speaking against you and your family member, what stop your father, it will not stop you. It will not limit you. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. This is a prophetic word that the Lord lay in me to record. Praise Master Jesus. And I pray that as you, are, as you hear my voice, let the Holy Spirit give you wisdom and understanding so that this word will be like a seed planted into your into your life. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and by hearing by the word of God. As you hear this word, let that faith increase. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen.